unmitigated disaster in Denver for someone that they gave up five first round picks to get paid uh, $245 million with $165 million guaranteed. It was the biggest trade of the offseason, the biggest acquisition of the offseason for a team that wasn't this bad last year, who we've all thought was just a quarterback away. So if we are to believe his teammates, which I will, what's the problem then? What was the problem? It had to have been 100% Nathaniel Hackett. Well, here's the rub. Nathaniel Hackett's gone. So next year, if Russ isn't good, what are we to believe then? I don't know how you come to any other conclusion than that it's over for Russell Wilson. <clears throat> I, mean, I remember I came to that conclusion about six But weeks. I don't be- I am I'm not I there. Am, like, I'm having I'm a harder time this, getting there, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying this from a space that I I don't believe that Russ is washed. I I have to believe that it's something <laughs> other than that. Like I'm not well, I'm not willing to go there. I see the pool, you know, but I feel like it's too cold. Like I need I need to see more. It is in Denver. But so. if you're right, but if you're if you're if you're adamant that it's not Russ's fault that and, or not that it's not Russ's fault, but you're adamant that he's a hard worker, he's a hard he's worker yeah. and he's connecting with his teammates, then he, he he's either really this bad or Nathaniel Hackett was really that bad. Here is why I find that incredibly fascinating, because I think it's accurate. One of the two have to be true. They could both be partially true, but one of the two have to be true, 2-5. Either Nathaniel Hackett was terrible as a head coach, and really, not a head coach, terrible as an offensive mind, because the offense was bad. Sure, right. the team itself was bad, but the offense is what cost him. The defense wasn't bad. Defense wasn't bad at all. But Nathaniel Hackett was with Aaron Rodgers, a two-time MVP the last two years, so I don't think it's all that. Why I think it's Russell is for this reason. Shady, everybody remembers Peyton Manning's last year in Denver. His last year in Denver, he got benched for Brock Osweiler, still won the Super Bowl, had nine touchdowns, 12 interceptions. It was bad. Yeah. Bad, bad. What people don't realize, the year before was bad, too. It just didn't seem bad because of how good Peyton was. Peyton went from 55 touchdowns to 39 touchdowns to nine touchdowns. 39 coming from 55 yes, well, yeah. is bad. Yeah. People haven't been paying attention to Russ. Now, keep in mind, Russ was hurt, but Russ went from 40 touchdowns to 25 touchdowns to 12 touchdowns. Now, in Seattle, there was a lot going on. He missed some games, but look at the statistics itself, not just the aggregate number. Russ, many would say, has been on a decline. Shady, that's why I'm like, I don't know where Russ stands as a football player, but let's go back to the teammates defending him. What do you make of that? What do you make of Russ? What in the world do you make of a situation? You played for a lot of teams, a lot of lot, locker rooms, and won a couple Super Bowls. Yeah, I, I love it. I love when your, your teammates stand up for you. You hear so much in the media from us, from other people, um, of their opinions, and they place it on Russ. He's this, he's that. But it means more when guys in your locker room are speaking up for you. Right when we watch other quarterbacks like like uh, Zach Wilson, who none of the teammates Nobody. speak up for him. Yep. You know, so that it speaks volumes of his who, who Russ really is. Um, and, and I always felt like Russ was a hard worker. I truly believe that it just didn't work out. Nathaniel, right, being a head coach, you know, and, and him not getting together for Russ, put him in the right offense that that fits his style. And I think Russ is in a he, he's in like a um um a funk a funk. Yeah, like he he's one of the things where it happens. Or you just can't get out of it. You're in a slump. I've been in slumps, two games, three games. Like, damn, I can't get together. So these things do happen. Now, it's a lot longer than, than it normally <laughs> takes. I say, right? Two or three <laughs> games. I mean, but everybody's different. So so what Joy said, yeah, next year, I think we'll see what really happens with Russ. And, and if he can't get together, then that's really your fault. Dave, $166 million. You do not have the luxury oh my of slumping. God, a lot of money. A lot of money. You don't have the luxury of slumping, particularly for a year or yeah, more than a true. year. It's not true, though. That contract wasn't just for one year. It wasn't. That's another thing people, they, 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 they failed to realize. They gave you all that money, cool, for, for a, a, a extended period of time to bring us a chip. Yeah, five years. They didn't say bring us a chip in, in one year. They didn't say that. So, like, okay, if, he bad, if he's bad this year like he was, and next year he plays well, we all are going to forget, forget about it. They go to the we playoffs won't. and seven, You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but. he's got to slow down a little bit with just... Throw him away. Throw the whole thing away. Like, throw the whole Russ Brainer away. I agree with you, but it's pretty unprecedented for somebody that we have considered a possible MVP to play this poorly. Like, the closest corollary is probably Aaron Rodgers. And that yeah. was, like, that was a little dip. It was a very small dip, and then still he good. came back. Yeah, I mean, Aaron Rodgers, before 2020, was still... five touchdowns, four interceptions, 26 touchdowns, four... Like God, you just got that stuff ready to go. He was still yeah. good. Yeah, he was still really good. good. This is not that. Uh, and so, uh, look, I'll do our producers a favor 
in the summer when we're like, who's facing the most pressure? Is it Joe? Is it Josh Allen? Like, whatever. Whatever the storyline is coming out of this season, it'll be Russell Wilson. Like, it doesn't matter what happens in these playoffs. Russell Wilson will be under the biggest magnifying glass and the most amount of pressure of any quarterback in the NFL next year because Joy, I mean, Joy, Joy did it perfectly. I don't need to add anything to it. Like, if it wasn't Nathaniel Hackett, then Russ has to be better. And if all these, and I never doubted his work ethic for that matter. Like, in the offseason, there were all these stories about how much time he spent with these guys. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't translate to the field. So, with a change of coach, and if all these guys say he's the hard worker that, that I believed he was, then it, it has to improve. There's no other way to say it. Dave, let me spring something on you. You said change of coach. A lot of coaches are in the hat. One coach, Kellen Moore, Dallas Cowboys oh, offensive Lord. coordinator. He's been he's only 34 years old. Been the offensive coordinator since 2019. One of the most brilliant minds. I believe he turned down a college head coaching job last year. He was a finalist for the Broncos coaching job when it opened last year. Kellen Moore, very intriguing name. I believe Dak Prescott, Russell Wilson, fairly similar styles of play, particularly healthy Dak Prescott before he broke his leg. Similar winning percentages when you look at them in totality of their career. Russell Wilson has Super Bowls, but regular season, similar winning percentages. You know Kellen Moore well as far as being on TV. Is that a job that you think a man like Kellen Moore, who would be entrusting the first opinion of him as a head coach in the hands of Russell Wilson, mm. is that a job that a guy like Kellen Moore or any head coach should want? I think Kellen Moore could absolutely, like the, the offensive part feels easy to answer. The Cowboys have had one of the best offenses, if not the best, the whole time that Kellen has been the OC. And it's, it's taken on a lot of different additions, right? Like they've done it with three incredible receivers, winging the ball all over the yard. This year, they got back to a little more ball control, get the running game going. And and I, I love that point that Dak Prescott's an athletic quarterback, but he's not Lamar Jackson, right? And I think that that is going to be the struggle, in my opinion, for Russell Wilson is playing well in a newfound set of limitations, right? Like, he's not the athlete that he was five, six years ago. I think Kellen Moore could help him with that. Shady, I think, is that no, possible? No. Is that possible to play well in a new sound, found set of limitations? You literally go by the handle, cut on a dime because of how athletic you were, your ability to cut. I'm not going to say that you ever lost that in totality, but you have been having crazy yeah. limits. Is it possible to play well in new I, limitations? I think when you have a good coordinator, they, they find ways to make it easy for you. They simplify the offense. Yo, I really think that uh, Moore will be a great fit for, for Russ, right? Just because, like, the, the quick game. When you watch the Cowboys, that offense, like, I don't want to say it's easy because nothing in the NFL is easy, but it's simplified so much. Can I say that? Quick steps, boom, 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 to the tight end, play action, run the ball, bootlegs. Like, if you really watch the way they play, even, like, the picks that, that, that your guy throws, even the last one to the tight end, like, that should really be a gimme. Yeah. That was, like, a hard throw to make. So, I think Russ would, would, would do great in that offense with Keelan Moore, so... For the record, the job of a of a play caller is to make it easy on your quarterback. That's what all of them should be doing, even the ones that well, have the best the, quarterback. I mean, the, the, be anxiety, the best is let them go. The only anxiety I have about bringing in a, another it would be a very similar hire is from it's Nathaniel. The same, Hackett. Yeah. yeah, and now look, they they're different guys, and they've been in different places. I mean, Dallas is obviously a lot of pressure, but it's not like. Like, remember, Nathaniel Hackett had a huge resume going into this. Huge. Like, 13 yeah. seasons, back-to-back -back years with Aaron Rodgers. This is a back-to-back -back MVP. This wasn't an off-the-wall decision that was made. I, I just, I think it's, you, if it doesn't work, then what? Now you're going to fire Kellen Moore, and then what are you going to do? Now you're two years into this five-year deal with Russ. I, I just, to me, I really think they should bring in somebody who doesn't have to adjust to also being a head coach, which is a lot different role within the organization and it's going to be a lot of pressure because outside of Deshaun Watson Russ is going to be the guy that that all the eyeballs are on next year expected to take a major step back to what he was before not even up so there's not we don't even have room for like progression with these guys like they've got to be great right now and for the fact that it's a five-year deal and forgive me earlier it wasn't five first round picks it was f five picks total it's it's now like this wasn't the contract that was given for five years from now I'm with you it doesn't have to happen this year and in fact the expectation was that it was gonna happen this year because Brady left right away won a Super Bowl Matthew Stafford left right away won a Super Bowl boom like the opposite direction the expectations are fair of Russell Wilson the disappointment level is fair of Russell Wilson not just because of what he's been paid or the draft picks that they gave up 
Russ wanted out of Seattle. This wasn't like a situation where they were like, we're ready to move on. He wanted out of, the, out of Seattle for multiple years. This was a conversation. I just don't know if the ideal coach for the Broncos exists. Remember, they went old defensive with Vic Vangio. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. Yeah, yeah. They went young offensive with Nathaniel Hackett. That didn't work. Now you can go 